Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Tropical storm Chantal has made landfall northeastern South Carolina. I will zoom down into that and that flood threat. A new tropical wave moving through the Caribbean, moving through Jamaica right now. With that said, a huge surge of dust. It's on the move. A lot of us have been feeling that, and I'll cover the eastern Pacific plus. I want to take a look ahead and zoom out into the Atlantic, where we could eventually get some bigger tropical development as we go forward. Let's start with this though. Tropical storm Chantal did make landfall. Central and eastern North Carolina in particular, heavy flooding and flash flooding will be a potential. Giving you the heads up, four, five, six inches of rain in some spots. We're going to see these big bands of rain even working across some of the higher terrain. Now with that, you can see this rain working in. So again, the flood threat, that is threat number one. Threat number two will be isolated tornadoes. As these bands of rain work in, they hit the, the land. So they kind of get the friction from the land, gives us a little extra spinning. So water spouts and isolated tornadoes will be a possibility across the uh, outer banks and then even across eastern sections of North Carolina as a whole. But this rain is very heavy. So again, giving you the heads up, a flooding potential today, central and eastern sections of North Carolina as this continues to lift in. The overall storm is weakening, no doubt. It won't be a tropical storm very soon, but watching out for the bands of rain, the severe weather threat, and that flood threat. We have a wonderful community on this channel from South Carolina and North Carolina. They'll be leaving their comments so uh, throughout the day on what the weather's like in the Carolina. So uh, take a look at uh, those comments as we go throughout the day. You'll get the reports from there. That's why I appreciate you subscribing. This is a great weather community. Now, we have one tropical wave sliding by Jamaica. With that said, we've had a couple spotty showers around even this morning. St. Vincent the Grenadines, we had a few overnight and this morning, but the dust is also around. You see the surge of dust moving into Jamaica today. Here's Haiti, the Dominican Republic, these brighter colors. That's where we have some of the thicker dust that I'm watching. Now, as we go out in time here, this is by tomorrow, and you can see that dust moves right near Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, starting to move near Providencia, San Andres, over toward uh, Roatan. We'll start to see that dust moving in. And then this here is by Tuesday. In Belize, for example, Honduras, some of that dust will be around the Yucatan Peninsula over toward Merida. We have some thick dust, Campeche, some of that dust moves in by the time we get into Tuesday. And then as we work deeper into the week, this is Wednesday, you see some of the dust that gets closer to Texas and Louisiana. By about Thursday, we'll start to lose some of the, the thicker dust, but we will start to get some dust in the Houston area. So by uh, Thursday in the Houston area, the air quality will be down with some of that dust that will be moving in. Now let's look out there. So here we are in Barbados, Dominica, St. Lucia, Trinidad. Here's the coast of Africa. These tropical waves that keep things in perspective. I'm not seeing any crazy development out of them right now, but they are starting to hang together a little bit more and some of the models are hinting at them hanging together. The icon model in particular, that's uh, that did a very good job with picking up on Chantal and last year with picking up on the development of Barrel. So it does a pretty good job. So I want to show you the icon model in just a second. Let's switch back here to the European model. You see through the Caribbean, uh, the Gulf, really not seeing any development over the next 10 days. This brighter color here, of course, that's with a uh, Chantal that has already developed and moved in, but we're not seeing any really big brighter colors popping up through the Caribbean and throughout much of the Atlantic. This here is what will be left of Chantal. It's going to lose its tropical characteristics, add to some of the rain back through the mid-Atlantic and throughout uh, New England, even clipping by the Atlantic region of Canada, but no big signs of development. With that said, the icon model is hinting at some development, which is telling me we're going to see a change in the season where we really need to watch the coast of Africa. So here we are in the Caribbean. Here's the coast of Africa. Now the icon model, as I mentioned, does a good job at kind of picking out at some areas that may not necessarily develop, but a few spots that we need to uh, keep an eye on. So let's go through this here and I'll stop it by the middle of the week. I know this map's a little bit different, but you see by the middle of the week, stopping here on Wednesday, this strong tropical wave right in through here, hanging together. Again, not seeing it developing quickly into a tropical storm or anything like that, but it is starting to hang together. Here's high pressure to the north. This acts like a blocker, keeping everything moving off toward the west. This area of high pressure near Bermuda, something I watch carefully, it shifts location and strength. So that helps me determine where things, uh, kind of the steering flow, where things may go. Now let's go way out in time here. This is by next weekend, a week from now on next, next Sunday. And you still, here we are in the Caribbean, you still see this spot out here, some spot 
kind of in the central Atlantic trying to hang together. So uh, maybe not development, but a sign that we are getting stronger tropical waves that are moving from the east to the west and that we'll, we'll need to really start watching these for some development. Of course, we could get some development closer to land like Chantal. I'm still watching that, but now we start to shift, especially by mid and late July out toward the tropical Atlantic, that's when we could start to see some development. And it makes sense. We're still early in the hurricane season. It's really just started uh, through July. We start to get a little bit of an uptick, but the bulk of the season, most of the seasons, August, September, into October, that's when we get into the peak of the season, which is September. Even we've seen over the last few years, some systems lasting into uh, November or developing in November. So again, we have the uh, bulk of the hurricane season, most of it still ahead of us. And now I'm starting to see some signs of a little more activity as we go forward. Now I'll zoom back toward Chantal in just a second and get into the Eastern Pacific. Spotty showers possible, St. Lucia, Grenada, St. Vincent, uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Hit or miss storms, rain chance not high for us in Jamaica, Haiti, and the DR, but there will be some storms around and still watching the rain Costa Rica, Panama in building as well. Guatemala and El Salvador. The flood threat's going to be higher today. Watching the rivers. Now, I mentioned the storm chance not widespread, but we could get a couple spotty showers again in the Eastern Caribbean and Cuba, Jamaica, even the Cayman Islands uh, back through Haiti and the DR. While it's not widespread, where we get some storms, they could be on the strong side. They could pack a punch. So giving you the heads up there, here's some of the rain back through Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador. Starts to drop off though. Costa Rica, Panama, the rain chance starts to go down some as we get into Tuesday. Still watching out for some scattered areas of rain and again, monitoring that surge of dust that I mentioned earlier in the video. And then you see by Tuesday, look at Trinidad, uh, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Southeastern Caribbean, our rain chance is going to get higher with the next tropical wave moving in Tuesday into Wednesday. So giving a heads up, better chance of some scattered showers by the time we get into Tuesday. Now this is later today. Here's Tropical Storm Chantal. It will not be a tropical storm at this point, but heavy rain, not just eastern North Carolina, but also central North Carolina, moving over toward parts of southeastern uh, Virginia. Here's that front with it, some scattered storms. And this in here, watching out for scattered storms, especially over toward the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Now by tomorrow, scattered areas of rain from the Atlantic region of Canada, pushing back through New England and the Mid-Atlantic. What's left of Chantal just kind of gets tied into that and uh, uh, gets enhanced. But watching over here, this is where we could get some tornadoes or an isolated tornado risk anywhere from Colorado back through Iowa, Wisconsin, the Dakotas. As we work our way into Monday and Tuesday, this is going to be a significant uh, area to watch for that threat of tornadoes. Watching out for that front pulling through Prince Edward Island, uh, New Brunswick, uh, see Nova Scotia, seeing some of that rain trying to pull offshore of the Avalon Peninsula. But in through here, it, even southern sections of Ontario, Quebec, back through the Great Lakes, Illinois, Wisconsin, uh, Missouri pushing into Indiana. This will be a tornado threat again Monday into Tuesday watching that. Scattered areas of rain through Mexico. This a few days ago looked like it was going to become Gill. Now the Eastern Pacific has been so active, but it looks like it's becoming a little less active at this uh, time. But watching out for scattered areas of rain back through uh, Mexico, and you can see this still has a slight chance of becoming Gill, but the chance on that is definitely lower. And I mentioned that in yesterday's video. So just going out in time deeper into the week, you see not as much development, spot to watch, but not as much development on the Eastern Pacific side. As we go throughout the week, we'll be watching out for some scattered areas of rain though, no doubt, parts of Mexico and Central America. So we're three names now into uh, the uh, list on the Atlantic Basin side. Andrew Barry, Chantal, the next name on the list will be Dexter. The Atlantic Basin side is the Atlantic Gulf and Caribbean. The Eastern Pacific has a different set of names and it has been so active. The last one was Flossie. Gill will be the next name, but while it has been so very active, I'm not seeing uh, any crazy signs of development. It seems to be getting a little calmer as I just uh, showed you. Now watching the seas elevated across the uh, Outer Banks of North Carolina. And then you can see as the week goes on, and does get a bit choppier. This here is by Tuesday. Watching the Northern Caribbean, watching some of those Atlantic passageways. Just giving you a heads up, even back toward the Southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, we are going to see the seas building a bit as the week goes on. Nothing crazy, but it is going to get choppier. This in through here, Bahamas. 
back through Cuba, Florida, scattered areas of rain and storms. A quick two to three inches of rain possible. We had some heavier rain yesterday, even last night. Parts of the northern Bahamas with Chantal up to the north, kind of a tail end of some of that rain. Now, I mentioned Jamaica, Haiti, the DR, Cuba, Cayman Islands. Our rain chance isn't super high, but where we get a storm, it could drop a quick 50 to 75 millimeters of rain and it could be on the strong side with some gusty winds. Puerto Rico, same thing, an isolated chance of a shower or storm. Monitoring the dust around. Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Bart, St. Kitts and Nevis. If we get a passing shower, maybe about 10 millimeters of rain. A little bit more St. Lucia to the south. We'll see some spots getting over 25 millimeters of rain the next couple of days. And a bit more Guyana and Suriname where we'll have some spots getting over 75 millimeters of rain. Scattered areas of rain to widespread through Central America. I mentioned Guatemala and El Salvador. Watch the rivers. We're going to see some spots over 100 millimeters of rain. That'll lead to some flooding and then monitoring some of that rain near Mexico City and keeping an eye on it, no doubt, as it gets a little bit closer. As we see some showers around parts of Texas, uh, watching New Mexico, this here is mainly scattered and those higher totals in the Carolinas where it could get four, five, six inches of rain, maybe a little bit more with that flood threat today, especially central and eastern North Carolina. So you see in Jamaica, isolated showers and storms, 30% chance, but a couple could be strong, a 20% chance for the next couple of days in the Cayman Islands. But you see by Tuesday, that's the next tropical wave moving into Trinidad. Our rain chance goes up to about 50%. Scattered areas of rain by the time we get into Tuesday. Barbados, 20 to 30% chance of rain the next couple of days, a 30% chance the next couple of days in St. Lucia. But again, by Tuesday, as we work our way into Grenada, you see the rain chance bumping up. Same thing, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We've had a couple scattered showers already around, but by the time we get into Tuesday, we'll be back to about a 40 to 50% chance. Isolated shower from Martinique. Back through Dominica, rain chance about 20 to 30%. We do that again in Guadalupe and still watching some of the dust around. We have that Antigua Barbuda, but it is shifting now off toward the west. Rain chance about 20% the next couple of days and a 20% chance. St. Kitts and Nevis in Montserrat, 20% chance. Anguilla and St. Bart's and an isolated chance of a passing shower. St. Martin, St. Anastasia over the next three days. Isolated shower or thunderstorm in Puerto Rico and watching that as well back through the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Passing shower, be mindful of a little bit of uh, lightning too. And there's that 40% chance scattered about in the uh, Bahamas as we go over the next uh, few days. 20 to 30% chance, Turks and Caicos, a little higher tomorrow. And you see some of the scattered thunderstorms possible in the DR. Not widespread, but a couple of these storms could be strong. Watch the river crossings in the DR. Rain chance only 20% for today in Haiti. Rain chance scattered about for us in uh, Belize as we get into the week ahead. Not super high. Some of us stay dry, but others will get some scattered showers. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Most of the dust, it's been clipping us by, but most of it just up to the north. There's the elevated chance of rain again. Guyana, Suriname, a 60 to 70% chance. Keeping an eye on some areas of flooding and then watching out for some of the scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms back through Cuba, Costa Rica, and Panama, the rain chance trends down for a change, a lower chance of rain as we get into the week ahead, about a 50 to 60% chance in Nicaragua, 40 to 50% chance back through Honduras, and there's that higher chance of rain over the next two days, Guatemala and El Salvador, even a mudslide threat and watching those rivers the next three days, still that high chance of rain in and around Mexico City, 30 to 40% chance across the Yucatan Peninsula, and about a 30 to 40% chance northern Colombia, a little bit higher northern Venezuela. Venezuela rain chance at about 50% in an isolated passing shower watching the fronts nearby as we work our way back through uh, Bermuda. Now, Chantal falls apart and moves inland, that should say. Large surge, surge of dust on the move. Stronger tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa. Some of those may try to develop. That's what we'll be watching as we go throughout the week ahead. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Hope you have a really good rest of your weekend.